beloved in christ i heartily welcome you to this great new dawn the lord has made for you and i good morning beloved you always welcome in the presence of your maker because he is the author and the finisher of your feet cut off from him you can do nothing yes no one receive anything unless be given to him or her from heaven so we are coming to her brethren my help comes from my maker who make it heaven and earth so we should now be in doubt of his love and kindness towards our life what is expected of us is just to keep reverencing his name because he is a young i am and the beginning on the end the beginning and the end so you should not be in doubt of his love in your life because the situation of life might be very very frustrating yes it is well in all let's count it all joy count it all joy when you face any devastating situation in your life because it's always there with you all right beloved welcome once again Welcome in his presence because in his presence there is fullness of joy. Alright, our topic today is Is your love still strong? That's the question we need to ask ourselves. Is your love still strong and beloved? What is love? Alright, before I will do justice to it or before I expand it more, let's take our test. Here's a memory verse is taken from Matthew 24, verse 12 to 13, which is because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall pass cold. Mm -hmm. But he that shall endure on, unto the end, the same shall be saved. Because of iniquity abound, the love of many have was cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Iniquities of and cross the whole world and that is why we feel and thanks not to see the love of god in our lives and the love yes because that is how that that has made the love of many to was good but beloved i want to ask us a question what is loving what do you understand by love to so my own love is a strong is a strong positive emotion of frigate and affection is a positive Mm -hmm. is a positive, positive emotion of figures and affection. Beloved, how do you love? Our topic to this is, is your love still strong? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Is my love still strong? Okay. We can use that of our maker because he is our one number one imitator. Yes. What he, he said, whatever we say, he's him doing do it likewise in your life because that is what jesus said whatever you see me do that whatever i see my father do that is what i do and same applicable in our lives that whatever we see jesus is only because it's only because he said no one goes through the father except through him before whatever you see jesus doing that is what is applicable in your life beloved jesus came because of love yes that is the ultimate and what is love love he came to die for you and i as many of you die for many how can you make your love complete efficient said be completely human and gentle be patient bearing one another in love make effort to keep the units of the spirit through the bond of peace beloved i still stand with my america but because he said and because of iniquity yes because of because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall was good but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Beloved, iniquities have engrossed this life that we're living that love is not there anymore. How many can sacrifice for others? How many can see that in somebody and try to take away and walk and penetrate through the person and make the person live again? How many people can do that? Nobody. We tend to still love like how do you love your spouse? How do you love your siblings? How do you love those dear to you? Same love you gave to them applicable to people out there. Yes. The love you give to your loved ones, 
Some of them talking to those who the Christian, those who know what God is all about. The word of God is not for everybody. Do you understand? It's those who are called and who are living according to his will. That those who God wants to use to, to do miraculous things in the life of many. Beloved, hit your hand on your chest that I am destined. I'm a world changer. You are a world changer. You're destined to show people love. Many people don't know what love is. It's cute. It can only be given when you do it. When you go through because that is what Jesus did. Jesus came. He, act, he didn't even ask and he didn't even come because of people there. He came because of he wants to undo some things that people have been suffering for many years. He has come to make peace. He has come to show us the way. He has come how to show people the way. How can you be selfless to us people? We all are self-centered that our own, our own, our own life. We work it in different ways, but unless we ask God for his intersection in our life, then we'll be able to see life. Enough is enough. You are destined for humanity. You're destined to put smile on people's face. And how do you put smile on people's face? How do you reciprocate your love? You deny yourself. For that, you have and show to humanity. How do you portray that? Jesus Christ live an example. There are many people who has been held captive in captive. But he went to do miracles and things that are happening in their life. That evidence of that that keep happening is happiness and love. He shows to us. He came on his way to die for you and I so we can penetrate through him and ascend to where our threshold is our treasure is. The treasure is not here in earth but in heaven. But our anticipate the way we anticipate, the way we live our life. In the word of God, it's I mean how our will will be. Love is the ultimate thing in his commandment. He said, Love is the number one. If you don't have love, you might have every gift. You might have how to do this. You might be in call. You might even think you are called. But you're not executing that that is needed of you. God is calling us that we need love in our life. We need to show love. Give her that you have. Put a smile, even it might not be money. It might not be money. Corey First Corinthians says love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it does not proud, it does not dishonor others, it does not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. That is love. Do you keep record of wrongs to someone? Do you beloved? Many of us are living a life of devilish incarnate we're living a life that is not of god but god is calling us today that we should show love to a brethren see that in others and try to undo it have you seen a sister who has not been peaceful go advice your advice will go a long way irrespective of how they will treat you all the first time don't keep persist persist doing your work because of god you don't need to be shame you don't need to be ashamed of what people will say about you. What matter is how do you do it? What victory do you gain at the end? That should be paramount in our life because we should live our life like Jesus did. Yes, he came. He said, I didn't came for the world to do. Yes, I came for the outcasts. Those who can do, who can differentiate their own God. When people are jetting on him, he said, I didn't come for those who are also do but those who doesn't know anything. That he comes for those who can differentiate their right from wrong. Who can differentiate their wrong from right. Beloved, where did you belong? Are you in love? Did you love the way God loved? Because love is patience. Whatever one can we throw on you, what matter is stand your ground. Do that you needed to do and come out victoriously. How do you transform life? How did you see that in someone to achieve a goal so that that person would be that person will live totally freedom from every thing that might be holding him hostage. We are living in, many of us are living a world, 
a slavery life. We are captivated. We are in bondage. Many things are holding lives. Demons are living in many people. But how do you go about saving them from it is love. Yes. Forget about what you see. Go straight. Face it with boldness. Fear. Take away fear in us. Let's live a life worthy of emulation. Let's do with love. Then you can't give what you don't have. Yes, you can't. But strive in order to tackle it. Because this life is full of many more things. Money, money is good. Money is fine. If you have money, you will be contented to take care of yourself. But aside that, but many people are not living because of love. They live because of when you have the money, you can be able to care. You can be able to use it for one or two things. But money is not only care. You might have all the money, but you don't have that love. So what is the gain? So we should be praying for God to give us the grace to be contented and also not only you being contented to extend it out there. Give to those in need, give to the poor, share, carry others along. You, you might not be money, you might wherever you're gifted, use it, utilize it. Jesus came. He came to show us. He came to make us to know and to see his father. He made us to know some certain things there, some certain things you do. And in order to attend to where you're going, we should follow what the scripture is all about. We should follow the ways of our maker. Yes, the only begotten son of our Lord Jesus Christ. The only begotten son of God. Jesus Christ who came for our aid. He's our savior. He's our other thing. So however, whatever you see him do, that is some applicable to your life. How many souls have you touched? How many lives have you convinced? How many people have you leave your converse home to go bring out from that situation that, that have been eating them? How many people have you take away from their bondage? It is life for you. It takes those who have love to do it. It is not necessary I mean you have the whole world money because that is how we see it now. Because if you don't have money, you'll be seen as a a dumping a dumping ground that is what is in trade but what do you give in times of that that really matters give out what you need you know you can no matter how far no matter how hard it is struggle to get there and struggle to give people what you think you can that is the word of god share try to make people smile put a smile on people his hard time hard time has taken over the, that doesn't mean that the love of god is waxing good many love will be waxing good now but what cause it those who endure the last shall be saved how do you endure this wicked world how did you how did you see it how did you face it how did you emerge victoriously that is what really matter he is our proclet. Jesus Christ has came to share us. So look upon him. We are coming to help. We are coming from our maker who made heaven and earth. He's the author. If you cut off from him, you cannot do anything. You can't. So what is expected of you is the tower. Yes, it is the tower. Where you always go for rich food. And be safe. Where you always go and be safe. Because without him, you cannot be safe. So how do we live it? How do we show that love we have? Check within your vicinity. What can you extend? How can you do it? How can you encourage? How can you bring up people from that long thinking? How can you abound? How can your love surfaces every situation in the life of helping me out there? That is what God expected of you. Show, give up, give love, give that you have to many so that people will rejoice and see meaning in life and know that life is beyond what is taught and tend to tend to be beloved that is love for us the positive intakes the positive things you give in people the things you show to people that matters how do you take them don't be judging don't be too judging judgmental because you move what is in yours before you judge judge with love carry ones along tell them how it needs to be a strong positive emotion of regards and affection what moves you to the person determine how and what you are there for how the person grew in spirit and in faith because that is what you are called for so beloved that is love for us don't forget our memory verse and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall once good but he that shall endure unto the end 
the sun shall be safe. So learn to endure in times of anything, whatsoever you see your life, how whatsoever you see it to be, even if you see that what you what you're giving is not given back to you. Believe God, He is the giver. What matter is are you fortunate in the way of God? That is it. Then leave the rest for those who doesn't know your value. So beloved, I'll be hanging on those for to see you in our next video. Do the next one stay tuned. Always tune in to connect to the promises and the destiny God has for you. Because with God you attend to your full potential. So our topic amen is your love. Stay strong. How do you go out to give up your love? All right, we're hanging up this far to see you in the next video. I'm st I still remain the daughter of Zion and your for you. God bless you. Good. Bye for now.